Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Pat and I run Warner's Tree Surgery with my husband Warner. We have been treating sick trees for over 50 years in Maricopa County, Arizona, and we work within 30 miles of Mesa, Arizona. In this video, I'm going to talk about the diseases of burst seedless lime, and how Warner can help you with your lime tree problems. Burst seedless lime, also known as Persian lime or Tahitian lime, is a popular citrus tree that produces seedless, juicy, and flavorful limes. The limes are medium-sized, round or oval, and have smooth, thin, green skin that turns yellow when ripe. The limes are great for cooking, baking, juicing, or adding a zesty flavor to your dishes and drinks. Burst seedless lime trees are easy to grow and care for, and they can be grown in containers or in the ground. They can reach up to 15 feet tall and wide, and they need full sun and well-drained soil to thrive. However, like any other citrus tree, Burst seedless lime trees are susceptible to various diseases that can affect their health and productivity. Some of the common diseases that affect burst seedless lime trees are citrus greening, also known as Huang Longbing or HLB, which is caused by a bacterium that is spread by the Asian citrus psyllid, and now the ash fly, both are tiny insect that feeds on citrus leaves and shoots. This disease causes yellowing, mottling, and blotching of the leaves, as well as misshapen, bitter, and green fruits. There is no cure for this disease and infected trees eventually die. Citrus greening is the most serious threat to U.S. citrus production. Citrus canker, which is caused by a bacterium that infects the leaves, stems, and fruits of citrus trees. This disease causes raised, brown, corky lesions on the surface of the plant parts, which can reduce the quality and quantity of the fruits. Citrus canker can be spread by wind, rain, insects, and human activities. There is no cure for this disease but it can be controlled by removing and destroying infected trees and applying copper-based fungicides. Citrus scab, which is caused by a fungus that infects the leaves, twigs, and fruits of citrus trees. This disease causes scabby, wart-like growths on the surface of the plant parts, which can affect the appearance and marketability of the fruits. Citrus scab can be spread by wind, rain, and pruning tools. It can be controlled by applying fungicides and practicing good sanitation. Citrus black spot which is caused by a fungus that infects the fruits of citrus trees. This disease causes dark, circular spots on the rind of the fruits, which can crack and become sunken. Citrus black spot can affect the flavor and juice content of the fruits, as well as their shelf life and export potential. Citrus black spot can be spread by rain, wind, and infected plant material. It can be controlled by applying fungicides and removing fallen fruits. Root rot which is caused by various fungi or water molds that infect the roots of citrus trees. This disease causes the roots to decay and rot, which reduces the uptake of water and nutrients by the tree. Root rot can cause wilting, yellowing, and dropping of leaves, as well as stunted growth and reduced fruit yield. Root rot can be favored by poor drainage, overwatering, or soil compaction. It can be prevented by improving soil aeration and drainage, and applying fungicides or biological agents. These are some of the diseases that can affect your burst seedless lime trees and cause you to lose your precious fruit and trees. But don't worry, Warner is here to help you. Warner has a lot of experience and knowledge in treating sick trees, and he can diagnose and treat your lime trees with the best medicines and methods available. He can also teach you how to care for your lime trees in the long term, by making sure you know how to properly water, prune, fertilize, and protect them from pests and diseases. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like comment, and subscribe to my channel. I hope you learned something new and useful today. If you have any questions or requests, please let me know in the comments section below. I will try to answer them as soon as possible. See you next time. Bye.